Na 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 How you gon' ask your friend to introduce you? How you gon' talk to me like I'm your baby, I'm your new boo? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I will be reviewing Hey My Wig. They were nice enough to send this over to me to do a review. So in the box you do get a lot of goodies. And I know you like it. I already did, of course, open everything, but you get a two-piece wig cap. I am wearing one of them right now. So you get two cute little pin clips to um and first I thought those these were the clips that you wear like for fashion, but they actually got little combs on them. And I think they're just you know to actually clip your hair out the way. But I mean some people may you know wear them for fashion, whatever your business the wig came with this inside of it you also get a elastic band with a pack of bobby pins and you get a little hair tie and the wig actually i'm gonna um put in a clip but it came in this cute little satin bag this is my first time receiving one of these i'm very excited their presentation and packaging is literally the best packaging that i've came across this far from the wigs that's been sent to me but yeah they just have their little info on the bag i will have a separate video of how i bleached everything added in the elastic band and that should be posted already before this one i don't know which one i'm posting first but yeah keep a lookout on that why is this so stringy let's do some bleaching now Oh yeah, this is she. I think this still got bleach in here. Hold up. Oops. I like this spray bottle because it is big, but I left my other spray bottle in my boyfriend's house. It's the little spritzer one that, you know, you just push it and just keep on spraying. Absolutely love those. I think I got mine from Sally's for like three or four dollars, but this gonna have to do right now. Let me make sure I still ain't got no bleach up in here. So you you act like you ain't gonna spray. So we doing today, bro. Um, this is the kind of eco styler I use. I like the red one. That's what I started out with. Then I used the pink one. And the Dollar General that I got this from, they didn't have either four. So I had to sacrifice and use the black one. But I mean. They pretty much do the same thing. I really don't see a difference between them. But I will say the red one does start to flake on me personally. That's why I switched from the red one. Because you can't be out here flaking on a girl. Don't forget to um, adjust the adjustable straps in the back of the wig also. I kind of pull mine as tight as it can go, like really, really close to the um, pin here in the back, just for extra security. And I do that with glue or, you know, without glue. But that's important in the glueless install. <laughs> Bow, there she go. Oop. Maybe I should have took my earrings out while I was doing this. Why the why is my robe coming back open? If y'all wear robes, how do y'all tie y'all robe? Because mine, am I like putting the wrong one first? Or like what am I doing wrong? Every time I wear a robe, it just irritates me because it comes undone every single time. Yeah. I will zoom in this clip if it's like too far back. I can't really tell. Okay, bow. See how it, it's already looking good, honey. Already looking good. Slightly. I just gotta mold that down a little bit more. And is is she crooked on me? All right, I'm gonna be looking over here at this. It is a glue install, but this got to be glued free spray works really good if you just want to like make sure your edges are secured and it kind of like helps that. But you don't have to use this, you can use whatever you want. I'm first going to spray some water on this. <laughs> Style 
Sunshine Foaming Mousse. This is the one I've been using literally since high school. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay. Period. And I just do a little bit. Like I said, I am wearing makeup. So, I don't really want to apply my makeup again. that it's a little comb actually because you can like comb it out the way which is pretty pretty cool so uh well i just plucked so there's some shedding from that and shedding on this wig i have plucked literally the life out of this wig and it really still don't even look like i did but i got a lot of shedding of course from the plucking so i really don't know you know if it's shedding or not but i am going to be wearing this a lot because it is glueless and I do I honestly prefer closures over a frontal because frontals are just too much work personally for me I'm still on you know get them use them well get them review them and wear them but if I had to choose it would definitely be a closure over a frontal any day how we how how we coming how we gonna do this uh oh already ripped it got this video i did from all of destiny because she be slam or whatever your work does not go unnoticed boo <laughs> and uh, um i really like that she actually you know had a glueless wig because i do be trying to find people that actually wear glueless wigs and not you know just all the glue and everything so when this company reached out to me to do this review for a glueless closure wig literally made my day they are um starting up this beginner series also so if you are a beginner like me i'm literally still a beginner i'm gonna split my hair in um actually let me do this first if you are a beginner like me i'm i still consider myself a beginner because like i am really still new to this whole wig game <laughs> so if you are a beginner like me or even like struggling struggling a little bit they are doing this company is doing a lace closure little wig series to help out beginners so i think that is really awesome and really cool so make sure to check the description box for all the links and everything about this hair and different things about you know their hair company and i'm just sectoring off my hair in a four because this hair is i'm spraying the hell out of my curtains this hair is really really thick and i tried to do this yesterday without doing sections and it did not work well for me a lot of people always tell me to start my own hair company but i feel like a hair company is just too much like if you have a business or whatever you can comment it down below i'm thinking of getting a pr well um p.o box so i can get pr packages and stuff because literally i get asked about it all the time so i think i may invest in that but i kind of want to start a business i kind of want to do lip gloss i don't want to do hair which a lot of people think that's what i want to do i just feel like selling hair is just so much like you make you know a nice amount of money but i just I don't know i'm just not up for it but i really do love lip gloss and everything i'm not wearing any right now but you will always catch me wearing lip gloss and that's kind of what i want to sell i kind of want to start it next year so like that's going to be my big goal of 2020 kind of starting my own business branching out because i honestly hate working for people so if you have any advice you can leave that below or any people that you watch 
that has their own businesses that you think I would like or is very helpful, you can leave them down below. And if you have a business, comment that down below. We all here to win, so let's make our coins. It's enough money in this world, literally, for everybody. Like, Kylie Jenner is a billionaire. That's only one person. And we are steady making the rich richer. Okay? Help out these small businesses out here. That's just my take on it. But, anyways... I'm probably going to speed through the rest of this so we can, you know, hurry it up. I think all this extra hair coming out is from all that plucking I did. Because when I ran my fingers through it when I first got it, it didn't shed or anything. So, I did a lot of plucking. So, I'm still getting hair. So, this is the hair wet. I will come back or insert pictures and videos and stuff of the hair actually dry. Okay, so the hair is completely dry now. And this is what she's looking like dry. Curls are still there. Hair is still looking good. It's bouncy, it's full. I'm loving it. When I'm done wearing this, all you gotta do, okay, period. Glueless or whatever. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my other videos. I don't know which I'm which one I'm posting first, either this one or the one where I diet and you know everything like that. But catch up on all my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe, click on my little face right here, and I will see you lovelies in my next video. Bye guys.